Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos here on YouTube. Today we are talking about DaVinci Resolve 14 and uh, all of the cool things that you can do with it. After putting up this video, a lot of people asked me to do a more detailed video on doing a project from start to finish inside of DaVinci Resolve. So this video is gonna be something like that. Just a note before we get started, this is the beta of DaVinci Resolve 14. This is uh, beta four, I believe. So if you're using a different version of Resolve 14, things might act a little bit differently. And if you're using 12.5 or any version before this, this isn't gonna make any dang sense at all. So just use 14 because it's free. I'm also using the studio version. Pretty much everything I do is also available in the free version. The only real differences are some advanced filters and some of the output settings, some stereoscopic stuff. And we're not even gonna be getting into any of that today. So don't worry about it. Use the free version. Resolve 14. I'm also gonna be taking this video from the perspective of somebody who's never really used Resolve before. I'm gonna assume you know something about video post-production. I don't wanna go through all the little basics. This is more about just doing stuff inside of Resolve. If you want a much more basic tutorial on video post-production in general, let me know. We'll figure that out. Anywho, on to the actual doing things. When you open up DaVinci Resolve, you'll have a window like this. It might also have thumbnails. That's where you pick your projects, make new projects, things like that. I've already made a project called Edit. And the first thing it will do is take you to the Resolve interface. Down here, we have five tabs, Media, Edit, Color, Fairlight, and Deliver. And each one of these is kind of a phase of post-production. The Media tab is where you go through and you import media. You have a media browser here that you can open stuff up off of your hard drive and bring it into your project. The Edit page is where you're gonna be doing all of your editing, things that have to do with moving audio and video around in time and space, laying it out in a timeline, pretty much where you're gonna put all of your media together. Then we have the Color tab. This is where you're gonna do color correction for each clip and make things look nice. Fairlight is the audio part of DaVinci Resolve and then Deliver is where you actually render something out so people can see it. So I'm gonna be working on a sample project here to just kind of walk through the basics of making something from end to end in Resolve. Up here in the upper left is the media browser. This is where you can browse to media on your computer and select things to import into your project. This was shot for a pretty big project and we're just gonna do something little today. So let's say we're gonna make just like a 30 second little teaser video. This is a project where my friend's church went to this uh, old lady's house to help do a bunch of yard work. So it's almost like a mini documentary of that day. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna do a little teaser thing. So what I'm gonna do is go through my media and figure out what exactly I want to include in my project. So first of all, I have some stuff shot on the pocket cinema camera. Here's some interviews which I'm not sure if I'm gonna use. So we have one camera, we have some audio from that camera. I believe I also have a second camera. And I can open up in thumbnails view to quickly find that other interview. So I'll drag that in there too. So now I have all of my interview down here in my project media. I'm gonna right click and hit add bin and I'll call this interview. That's just so I can keep things organized and I'll throw those in the interview bin. Now I wanna grab some B-roll, so I'm gonna hit add bin, B-roll. I'm gonna turn off the audio and I can just scrub over these clips to quickly open them up in my viewer here and get an idea of what's included in each clip. Here's a good one. Let's grab that. And I'm not really doing anything fancy right now. I'm just roughly picking some clips. For your project, you can take as long as you want doing that. Here's some sweet painting action. So I also have some cool GoPro shots. Here's one from a shovel. All right, so now that I have all of my media that I want for my project, I'm gonna make sure to save and hit my edit tab. And now I can start to lay things out in a timeline. What I'm gonna do is grab my first piece of interview. What I like to do is grab a clip where I like the settings. I'm just gonna grab this pocket camera clip and I'm gonna double check my project settings by hitting this little cog down here. And this is gonna be 1920 by 1080, 23.976. That looks good. That's what my timeline's gonna be. Now I'm going to sync up my audio. So I'm gonna grab my Ursa Mini and my, and my audio. 
can resize things a little bit. Now I have both cameras and my audio stacked in the timeline. And now all I have to do is figure out how they line up. So I can move clips around by just selecting them. It's pretty natural if you've ever used any kind of video editor or audio editor for that matter, it's very similar. And so I'm just gonna line these up visually to start with and see how that goes. I think that's gonna be pretty good though. Um, I should have a slate here too, but I can see from the waveforms that these are probably pretty well lined up. So I'm just gonna turn on my audio and play. <laughs> it's pretty close. So once I have those lined up visually, what I'm going to do is just mute these top two tracks. One thing I am going to do is right click here on any of the audio tracks and say add track mono. And I'm going to add a mono track. That's because this audio is mono. And if I were to play it back right now, it just comes out of the left speaker. So if I move this to a mono track, It'll come out of both speakers. That's what I want. And then I'll go ahead and delete this track. I'm also going to open up the inspector and boost the volume a little bit on this because I know it's going to need it. The inspector adjusts anything that is selected. So if I select a clip, it's going to open it up in the inspector and that's what I'll be changing. So it's whatever's selected in the timeline. And we are in the So let's see how it goes. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Zoom in on her mouth, and I'm moving this by holding down the middle mouse button and dragging. <laughs> he was just practice before. Yeah. Looks like that needs to come up a little bit. He was just practice before. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Calm before the storm. All right. Hi, we are Kyle and Cassie Rainey. And All right, that's pretty good. So I have the audio sync to this camera and I'm gonna mute this video track by hitting this little button right here on track two. And that's gonna let me see this track one. And I'm gonna do the same thing and just look. All right. Hi, we are Kyle and Cassie Rainey. And that looks pretty good. So now I have a multi-camera interview all synced up and I can get rid of these audio tracks actually. So I'm just gonna delete this track and this track. Turn on snapping and just for cleanliness, I'm gonna trim these all so that they line up and I'm gonna ripple delete them back over here. And I'm gonna move them to the front of the timeline. So there's my interview. I'm gonna select all of these clips and I'm gonna hit control forward slash. That's the slash that's above the enter key. I can select this and hit shift backspace and that will get rid of all of that. So a lot of the projects we're doing today is just a lot of yard work, uh, doing a lot of gardening. Uh, we actually are repairing a fence, uh, redoing a deck, uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, just a lot of gardening and painting and uh, and some power washing and moving some furniture inside for her and just you know hauling off some stuff that she needed hauled off and uh, things that she she wouldn't be able to do uh, on her own and uh, and so yeah. All right, that part is good. I'm gonna hit Control forward slash again. And I think what I'm gonna do actually is go back to my master project window here up in my media pool, and I'm gonna rename this timeline interview. The reason I wanna do that is because I wanna keep this interview all synced up in case I wanna come back and get some more clips from these two. And I'm gonna make a new timeline, and I'll call this edit. I'll leave everything as default and hit create. And I am gonna add one more mono track for my interview. I'm gonna grab this and control C, move over to my edit and control V, make sure my audio is down on my mono track and I'm gonna right click and move track up. So now I have my mono track for my first track and a stereo track down here that I'm gonna be using for music and whatever else I want. Today is just a lot of yard work. Seems like it works great. Make sure to hit save. Now I'm gonna import some music. Here's some music I have from YouTube. I'm just gonna drag in my MP3 that's something I know a lot of people were upset about in the last version is you couldn't use MP3, but now with the new advanced audio features and stuff, that doesn't seem to be an issue anymore. So here's my MP3. I'm just gonna drag that down into the second track. And before you start rage commenting, I wanna just take a second and tell you that it's a lot better to use a WAV file 
a really high quality version of music. Um, usually when you buy music, it will come as a wave. All of the free YouTube music is MP3, which doesn't quite sound as good, might give you some problems, but practically it's usually just fine. So just a little disclaimer there. So that's super loud. So what I'm gonna do is open it up in the inspector and just take it down maybe six or seven dB, just so it is an insane world. Let's start building this edit. I almost always build an edit, pretty much the audio first, um, especially something like this that's like a documentary style because the audio is what tells the story for the most part. So we'll start out with the music. Maybe have some shots here. All right, then that's where we'll bring in our interview. So a lot of the projects we're doing today is just a lot of yard work, uh, doing a lot of gardening. Uh, make sure you're so what I'm gonna do is grab my blade and blade this audio under the interview. And I'm gonna take this clip and bring the volume way down, like 20 maybe. Uh, we're doing a deck, uh, doing a lot of... Uh, uh, just Something like that. And then I can right click in between and add a crossfade. So a lot of so a lot. You could also dip this audio by drawing it in with the uh, the volume automation and stuff. I don't really like doing that because it's harder to edit this way. If I ever need to change like the timing of this, like let's say I want this to just come in a little bit later, I can just slide these edits down. No problem. So a lot of. So I'm gonna trim this a little bit. Bring this up. So a lot of the projects we're doing today is just also going to fade this up a little bit. So a lot. Of Another way you can fade is this little white thing right here. You can bring it in, and it's a quick fade up. So it's very, very quick and smooth. So a lot of the projects we're doing today is just a lot of yard work, uh, doing a lot of gardening. Uh, we actually are repairing a fence, uh, redoing a deck. Uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, just a lot of gardening and painting and, uh, and some power washing and moving some furniture inside of her and just you know pulling off some stuff that she needed to hold off and uh, things that she, she wouldn't be able to do uh, on her own and, uh, and so yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna want this music to end probably right after he stops talking. So I'm just gonna So maybe let's bring it in like this. Let's just see how it sounds with just a super trashy fade. So we gotta do this on the beat. Uh, on our own, and uh, let's see how. So that's two measures. It helps for editing music if you know a little bit about how music works. I'm gonna mute this track. All right, so that's the beginning of that measure. And let's add a fade. Almost works. All right, let's try that with a fade. And what usually works pretty well is if you make that edit earlier while it's quiet. And then I'll just blade this, make another fade, bring this down to the same level. Okay, so now I have my music edited how I want. That she needed hold off, and uh, things that she, she wouldn't be able to do uh, on her own, and, uh, and so yeah. So now I have the basic structure of my edit. I have the audio kind of laid out how I want. I'm gonna take out a couple of those ums and ahs. Control forward slash to chop tracks at the playhead. Fence, uh, redoing a deck. And I'll chop it there too. And I'll take this part out like that. Bring everything back down. 
add a little fade here. Pull that back here. And my fade back in. Things that she, she wouldn't be able to do uh, on her own. And, uh, and so, yeah. And now I can take this second camera and roll it back here. And we can cut in between. Uh, redoing a deck, just a lot of gardening and painting, and, uh, and some power washing, and moving some furniture inside for her, and just, you know, hauling off some stuff that she needed hauled off. And uh, things that she, she wouldn't be able to do uh, on her own. So let's cut out that other uh. Be able to do. uh. There we go. I'll move this in. Do on her own, and uh, and so yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much how you would deal with those ums and ahs. The and so yeah, I'm not really that um, excited about, but you get the idea. If you can make all your edits and everything inside of the timeline. So a lot of the projects we're doing today is just a lot of yard work. Uh, doing a lot of gardening. Uh so I'm gonna save this and right now I'm gonna go over to Fairlight and play with the audio just a little bit because I want to be able to hear this pretty well and you know I have to do it sooner or later so whatever. This first track this is where all of the dialogue is and cool thing about Fairlight when I switch to Fairlight it brings up all of the Fairlight stuff there's a bunch of like complicated looking things here all you really need to know is your timeline is here it's very similar to the edit timeline, but just focused on audio. And then you have your mixer over here, which gives you easy access to all the little fancy things that we're going to play with, as well as the traditional mixer faders. So first thing I'm gonna do is this first audio track, I wanna add some dynamics to it. So under dynamics here, this little square, I'm just gonna double click and it's gonna bring up my dynamics thing. If you're not familiar with dynamics plugins, it's pretty much just a bunch of effects that play with the volume range of the audio. Simple thing I'm gonna do is hit my compressor, see how it sounds. What we're doing today is just a lot of yard work, uh, doing a lot of gardening. Uh, we actually are repairing a fence, uh, redoing a deck, just a lot of gardening and painting and, uh, and some power washing and moving some furniture inside a lot of gardening uh, we actually are repairing a fence uh, redoing a deck just a lot of gardening and painting I'm gonna and, turn my uh, pop, you know, ratio up a little bit and I'm gonna push my makeup a little bit because what I'm wanting to do is take down the loud parts and boost the soft parts it's just a lot of yard work uh, doing a lot of gardening uh, we actually are repairing a fence uh, redoing a deck just a lot of gardening and painting and uh, and some power washing and moving some furniture inside for her and just you know hauling off some stuff that she needed hauled off and uh, things that she she wouldn't be able to do this may look really scary there's lots of audio tutorials online that explain how to use a compressor and what makeup is and what a limiter is and expander and a gate and all that stuff which i'm not really going to get into but what you really need to know is the difference here it is with the compressor and the makeup we actually are repairing a fence uh, redoing a deck just a lot of gardening and painting and here it is without gardening. Uh, we actually are repairing. A so it's a lot quieter, doing a, deck, just a, lot of a lot less punchy. And we're just making it so it's a little bit easier to understand and hear over the music. The other thing I'm going to do is EQ my music a little bit. So on my second track where my music is, I'm going to double click this little EQ thing. And I'm going to take this little dot that says four and just bring it down to about this first line here. Something like that. I'm going to go somewhere between one and two K. And what that's going to do is take down the frequencies in the music that are going to collide with the frequencies of their voice. And so it's just going to clarify stuff a little bit and you won't be able to hear a huge difference with the music. So a lot of the projects we're doing today is but it should help ever so slightly us hear these guys a little bit easier. In the painting and, uh, and Fairlight is a huge world uh, that you can get into. Again, like if you guys want more Fairlight stuff, uh, I can do more tutorials on that. But as far as an end-to-end -end project, that's usually what I do is I add some dynamics to the dialogue and do a little bit of an EQ scoop on the music. If I really wanted to be particular here, I could put these full parts of the music onto a different track and not EQ them because it would probably sound a little better, but I'm not gonna worry about that today. I can go back to my edit and play around. So a lot of the projects we're doing today is just a lot of yard work, uh, doing a lot of gardening. Uh, we actually are repairing a fence. All right, so now I have a pretty good edit as far as the audio and the content. Now I wanna add some B-roll. So in my edit tab, just gonna go to my B-roll. And again, I can switch to thumbnails. And let's start with some cool shots here. 
Maybe we'll start with a drone shot there. So that sounds like a, a fun thing. And I'm just gonna scrub through and I can hit I on the keyboard to hit an in. And hit O for out. And let's go with this. Yay, it's fun. So I'll just put that on the third track at the end, just so I can keep things a little bit organized. Maybe we'll do another drone shot for the beginning, maybe something like that. It's a little blown out there. Yeah, maybe something like that. Looks good. Bring that down to video three. All right, let's find some other nice visual shots. This is cool. Turn off the audio for a second. Scrub through this. Shoop. There we go. That's nice. Putting in dirt. And you'll see when I have a video up here, I have a little film strip thing and a little waveform. If I grab in the middle, that will put both the audio and the video into the timeline. If I grab just the audio, it'll be just the audio. And if I grab the little film strip, it'll be the video. So for this, it's just B-roll. I don't want any audio with it, so I'm just gonna grab the film strip. So that's cool. Let's find another couple things here. Love these GoPro shots. Shoveling action, yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's rad. Okay, there's some more, and I'm just gonna kind of loosely throw these over stuff right now. I don't really know where exactly they're gonna go, but I just wanna grab some good clips that I could use using the tiller. It's a nice establisher shot. That's cool. Put that in there. Here's a nice like finished shot. Look at those flower beds. Those is dope. Got this awesome watering can shot. Love that. Okay, so now we have our shots. Let's see what it looks like. Turn back our audio. <laughs> So a lot of the projects we're doing. Let's see, I'm gonna have the shovel first and I'm just gonna line these up with the music. Something like that. So a lot of the projects we're doing today is just a lot of yard work, uh, doing a lot of gardening. Uh, we actually are repairing a fence, uh, redoing it. Okay, so he says something about a fence. Um, I don't know if we actually got shots for that. Doing a deck, just a lot of gardening and painting and, uh, and some power washing and moving some furniture inside of her and just, you know, hauling off some stuff that she needed hauled off and uh, things that she So anytime he says gardening, I'm just going to put the gardening stuff. Uh, doing a lot of gardening. Uh, we Maybe something like this. Doing a lot of garden, just a lot of gardening and painting, and uh, and some. Let's do a lot of gardening and painting. A lot of gardening and painting, and. Painting and yeah. Oh, I think I have a sweet painting shot too. Yeah, painting. Good. All right. Just a lot of gardening and painting, and. Painting can go up here. Let's do gardening. Redoing a deck. Just a lot of gardening and. Painting and uh, and some power washing and moving some furniture inside for her and just you know hauling off some stuff that she needed hauled off and uh, things that she she wouldn't be able to do on her own and uh, and so yeah. All right, we can actually do we can actually do some more action shots down here. So maybe we'll do this. Yeah, I like that. Maybe we'll just cut out the and uh, yeah because you know it's not that great. On her own. Yeah, and then we're just gonna move this down to like that. There we go. Yep, we're doing it. We're abandoning ship on the um yeah. Do on our own. Let's do some of this. All right. All right, and we want them to be cheering right when that symbol comes in. So let's go with that. Yay! 
and we'll fade it out at the end. No problem. All right, so that's our basic edit. Um, again, there's probably a lot more stuff we could do. You guys might edit it differently, but that's pretty much how editing works in Resolve. Now that I'm pretty much done editing, what I'm gonna do is bring everything down onto one track. And the reason for that is because it's gonna be easier in color. You don't have to do this. It's just freaking tricky to not do it. So I'm gonna hit Alt and down on the keyboard with my clip selected. And once everything's flattened down, I'm gonna play through to make sure it still looks good. So a lot of the projects we're doing today is just a lot of yard work, uh, doing a lot of gardening. Uh, we actually are repairing a fence, uh, redoing a deck, just a lot of gardening and painting and, uh, and some power washing and moving some furniture inside for her and just you know hauling off some stuff that she needed hauled off and uh, things that she, she wouldn't be able to do on her own. One bug I found that apparently if you have this fade on the end and you try and alt up or down, move this to a different track, it crashes for some reason. So um, be careful with that. If that's happening, um, take that off and then move it down and then add your fade back in, I guess. I'm sure that is a bug that will be fixed. But now that I have everything on one line, my audio sounds pretty good. I'm gonna go to color. And now I have all my clips laid out here in a line and I can do my color work. So at this point, I'm gonna do the rest of my color, match my shots, make sure everything looks really nice. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail because I have a million other tutorials on this. And Resolve 14 works almost the exact same way as Resolve 12 when it comes to color. And once I'm done with all of my color and all of my shots look the way I want, I can go over to Deliver. And this is where you can actually render out your project. Up here, we have the render settings. And the easiest thing to do is just pick a preset. So I can click YouTube and twirl it down, pick 1080p. And that's gonna work pretty good for any time you want to export to YouTube or you know Vimeo. They have presets to bring stuff into Premiere, to bring into Final Cut, and you can adjust your render settings here. One thing I'm gonna do is click over to File, and hit Custom Name, call it something important. Let's call it Yard Edit, and tell it where to go by hitting Browse. And once all your settings are good, just hit Add to Render Queue and Start Render. So there you go, there's an end-to-end, -end, somewhat detailed tutorial on how to do everything you need to make a video inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like, and for more post-production tutorials, DaVinci Resolve tutorials, color grading tutorials, things of that nature, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Casey Ferris. I will catch you on the flip side. Yeah.